All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, taking the stock exhaust out. Um, I looked at the stock bolts and they're all pretty rusted in there, so hopefully they, they come out okay. Um, I'm most concerned about the downpipe bolts. Uh, not too worried about the rest of them. But we'll have to uh, jack it up, pull the front wheels off. We gotta pull the fender liner out. Um, and uh, that'll give us access to the little access panel down here. Um, if you can see, there's a one torque screw there, and then one there's one up here. Um, I saw these panels when I was changing the uh, the shocks. So anyway, we'll put, take that out, and uh, then that'll give us access to the bolts. All right, so now with that access panel out of the way, uh, that gives us access to these bolts here. So we've got one bolt here and then the other bolts on the other side, on the back side. So to get to it, we'll probably use a few extensions and then we'll, that, that'll drop our, we'll use an impact to get these out. Um, and then we've got an O2 sensor on the back side here. It'll probably be easier to get it off once the pipe is out of the way. And then You've got your, that's your cat down there. And then there'll be another O2 sensor after the cat. And then we've got three bolts that uh, connect the muffler to the downpipe. So those bolts are completely rusted on mine. So they'll all just break. And that's okay. Cause I went out and I got uh, all new stainless bolts. Um, even the ones up here, I went out and got new stainless ones. Cause I don't want them to rust again. So let's go ahead and uh, take these out. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably take the bottom ones out first and then get these top ones out because uh, I don't want to, this top part to fall out as I'm working on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the stock muffler out of the car. So I just went ahead and I actually just cut the bolts because they were just completely destroyed. So as you can see, this thing is pretty rusted. Um, I'm gonna try to get some of this rust off and knock those uh, bolts out so that I was originally gonna just try to put the down pipes on and keep the stock mufflers because I think the other ones the other ones are uh, pretty loud um, but with how rusted these flanges are that might not be possible but anyway I'll try to clean them up and knock these uh, rusted broken bolts out of there and see what we can do and now with the muffler out of the way um, I sprayed those top bolts with some uh, PB blaster just letting them sit a little bit and then so you can see down here we've got a, uh, a mount that holds the cat in place and then there's our second O2. So we'll undo that mount, get that second O2 out of there. And then uh, we can get those top bolts out and hope, hopefully they come out okay. Because those ones, uh, I can't really get rid of them. Because these nuts up here I'm pretty sure they're attached to that flange. So if that bolt breaks, then I'm kind of screwed. So let's try to get them out without breaking them. All right, so there's the stock downpipe slash cat out of the way. Got the O2s out. The front O2 came out pretty easy. It looks fairly new. I think it probably has been replaced not that long ago. The bottom O2 was a bit of a pain in the ass to get out. Um, it was pretty stuck in there. So on the other side, what I'll do is I'll 
I'll get the O2s out first, or at least get them loose, because once the exhaust is uh, unbolted, it's a bit of a pain to try to get the O2s out because you gotta use quite a bit of leverage. But anyway, so now that we've got this pipe out, you can see how rusted this back flange is. Um, so if I go to put these back in in the future, I don't really know what to do about this. Um, might have to cut those off and maybe get some V-bands welded in instead. But those are, uh, don't think those are reusable. So anyway, let's get the new downpipe in there and we'll start bolting it back in. I unbolted this little bracket. It actually slides out. There's a bushing um, underneath. So I'm assuming this one gets bolted to the new downpipe. Um, and then it just slides right back in there. There's a, a rubber mount there. So let's get it in there. All right, so I've got the uh, downpipe bolted in here. It's all kind of loose still. I haven't uh, tightened it down. I want to put the muffler in first, um, but I've got the O2 sensors in. Um, I just put the secondary one in uh, in the regular spot. These um, 90 degree ones, the spacers that I ordered, they're not gonna work. So I'm waiting for the straight ones to show up. But in the meantime, I just put them in just like that. Um, so now we can get the muffler in there and uh, we'll get the two bolted together and then we can tighten everything up. All right, so everything's in. Downpipe bolted in. Got it uh, attached to the muffler. Muffler's in the hangers. Got the, uh, the little support bracket attached here. O2 sensor in. So... Now we can go ahead and put the cover back on and then move on to the other side. Um, while I'm in here, I'm probably just going to do my front brakes too. I've got a new set of pads sitting there. These rotors still have a little bit of life left in them, so I think I'm going to leave them. They're not, not the greatest, but they're still okay. So I'm just going to put new pads on. These pads are pretty worn out. Um, so we'll throw, throw new pads in while we get the wheel off and then we'll do uh, the other side. So working on the driver's side now, same idea here. I've got the, uh, the liner out of the way. I'm gonna take the little cover off. That'll expose the bolts. And then we can go ahead and uh, take the stock cat out. Uh, we're gonna remember to unbolt the O2 sensors first before we do that, in case they're seized in there like they were on the other side. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put the new pipes in and then we'll do the brakes on this side also. So let's keep working. All right, so got this cat out on this side. Um, this O2 sensor was pretty rusted in there, so I didn't want to risk damaging it. So yeah, I just went ahead and un unplugged it. Um, the plugs are kind of behind the manifold there. So they're not too hard to get to. So it's easier to just unplug it and take the thing out and then take a wrench to it. When you have it on the ground, it'll be a lot easier to get off than uh, trying to fight it in the car. So let's get this O2 sensor out and uh, we'll get the new pipe in there. All right, so driver's side all done. Got the pipe bolted in. Everything's bolted together underneath, mufflers in. So we'll go ahead and uh, put the cover back on, put the inner fender liner back in 
and uh, we'll do the brakes on this side and we'll put the wheel back on and uh, take it for a spin see what it sounds like I'm sure it's gonna be nice and loud but uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes all right so everything's all done wheels are back on you can see the new uh, used mufflers the, uh, the pipe actually looks pretty cool how it's exposed like that but it's time to start it up I haven't heard it yet so we'll put this camera on the tripod and we'll start it up see what it sounds like are on the way so we'll put those in as soon as they get here and uh, hopefully avoid getting that check engine light but yeah noise level wise this is pretty loud I kind of want to see what it sounds like with the valves open so I might just uh, manually open those just uh, wire tie them open <coughs>
monster truck now. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos coming.